Uh, my name is Russ and I'm with Top Form Design. Uh, I've got to go over a couple of things before we get started on your pivot install. First of all, when you get the pivot out of the box, it is really tight. Um, it's virtually impossible to turn by hand. It can be done, but it's very difficult. That's by design. So the bolt that goes through the center of the pivot and it has a special little nut on the end, that is torqued to a very particular pressure. And that pressure keeps this monitor still. If you're out of the saddle during a hard ride and the bike's got a little rock, you don't want that monitor to swing on you, okay? Plus, once it's installed, you get leverage from the monitor. The monitor's so wide, when you go to turn it, it's easy to turn, but you have no leverage when you try to spin the pivot right here. So don't worry about it. Complete the install, get the pivot in. I promise you it'll be just fine. Uh, second thing, when you're going to loosen the bolts, uh, you gotta make sure that you put the Allen wrench in the head of the bolt, okay? So it goes in the head, and then you go to your open end wrench and back it out. If you don't put this Allen wrench in the end, it will just spin on you. The nut that's on here is called the lock nut. That lock nut is tight the entire length of the threads, okay? So keep the Allen head in the head of the bolt and then loosen that um, all the way out. Second or last thing I wanna cover are your cables, okay? Your cables are critical to your bike's performance. That has your data and your power traveling through those cables. Once the pivot is installed, you have to make sure that you pay attention to those cables. So the, most of the stock bikes have a Velcro strap that goes in the bottom of this monitor arm, okay? That, sometimes that Velcro strap can fight against you. What'll happen is when you go to turn, the cables will slide back through that Velcro strap and then they'll bind when you go to turn it back and then it'll rip the cables out. So my suggestion is to take the Velcro strap off completely, run the cable behind the handle so you can see the adjustment handle right here. Usually this is our shop bike so I don't have any cup holders on it. But you can run that cable up through the cup holders behind this adjustment handle right here and then up to the monitor and let it just free hang. This will keep it clear from the wheel. Top form design is not responsible for what you do to your bike. You're installing the pivot at your own risk, okay? It can be done. There are thousands of pivots out there. I assure you it is fine. You just have to pay attention and make sure that you take care of your bike. Hello, this is Casey from Top Form Design. Uh, if we... <laughs> Hold on. Hello. <laughs> Alright, just stop so you have to. Okay. <laughs> now you're making me laugh. Okay. Hello, this is Casey from Top Form Design. We're gonna go over the install of the pivot for you to rotate your screen around. So this is the bike as you have it at home. Here is what you will be getting with your Top Form Design uh, pivot kit. You'll have instructions, three washers, a lock nut, 13 millimeter in wrench, a six millimeter hex wrench, and an eight millimeter uh, screw, cap screw. And then here is your pivot, assembled um, as this. So first, here is your Peloton screen. First off, we're gonna remove these clips in your clip for the data and power cord here. So you pull out in a way, this way, to pull that clip loose, and then you'll pull your data and power cords out. Next, you'll remove these two clips here that uh, block the uh, access to the bolt. And those will pull straight out such as that. Next we'll remove this cap screw and lock nut to get your Peloton display off. There are eight washers on here that will fall out as you remove this, so you'll wanna catch those washers. It is helpful to have someone help you with this process for as you're screwing out the bolt, this display wants to kinda just go wherever it wants to go, so it is helpful to have a extra set of hands so I'm gonna remove, this is me by myself. I know how to do this. It's a little difficult by yourself, but you can. So I'm gonna grab the monitor like this. As you can see, the washers are falling out on the inside of that bracket. There, I caught two of them. You wanna pull your display off. This is very important. Make sure you set your display on a nice soft surface. Display side down, because you do not wanna scratch your screen. So when you pull your 
your monitor hardware off, this is what you'll have. This is the actual hardware that should come with the Peloton. Now I have seen some of these screws or some of these washers not be all on the Peloton, so it's not totally necessary. The most important thing, when you install your pivot, you have at least one washer on the inside, one on both insides, and one on both outsides at minimum. Now there is some gap in here, so that's why it's helpful to put more than two washers in here to take up some of that tolerance gap. But each Peloton here is different. So you have, you have some tolerance variance in here and you'll use washers to take up any of that tolerance variance. So to install the pivot, you wanna go bolt, washer. This is a little tricky, but so what you'll do, this is kind of what I found that works best. Kind of set that in there like such. You have two washers on that side. You'll slide your pivot in facing this way. Kind of find that hole. And then it has those two washers captured in there. And now the other side, it's a little tight for two washers for me, so I'm just gonna go with one washer. A little tricky in here, you kind of got to find that hole and slide it in using your fingernail or whatever works best for you. There we go, we've got two washers here, one washer here, and that will work just fine. Put another washer, put another washer on this side, and then your lock nut. And just snug this up for now. Doesn't have to be super tight. We'll do the adjustment after it's all installed. When you're all ready to, when you have your pivot on your actual display, you're ready to install it on your bike. You're gonna take the provided eight millimeter cap screw with a washer, slide your bracket over the display arm, and slide that bolt in. Just as such. Now be careful, it's gonna be really flimsy until you get that tight. I'm gonna rest it here for now. We'll take another one of the washers provided, slider on there, and then your lock nut. And start tightening. You may have some gap in between here. You can put some washers in there. Um, it's not totally necessary to have the washers in there. However, if you want to use this as another pivot point, you may want to put some washers in there and I will touch on the, the pivot points after we, we are done with the install. So after you start to snug this up, it is very important to get this kind of aligned with the axis of, your, of the arm here. So you see how this is all in line with the axis? because when you rotate your screen 90 degrees, it'll make your screen level with the ground, kind of like a picture frame hanging on the wall. If it's not level, you'll really notice it. And you may have to adjust that a little bit to get that level, not a big deal. You can um, just snug it up right now, turn your screen 90 degrees if you want and adjust that if necessary. I'm gonna snug her up. You want this fairly good unless you use this as a pivot point fairly tight so it doesn't move on you so we got our pivot there we got a pivot here so it's installed now we want to check the tightness of all the bolts this is a little loose when you're riding it could kind of jiggle loose so I'm gonna tighten this up just a little bit this is by preference. You may decide you like this tight. You may like it a little looser for your preference. So just play with these, the tightness of these of that bolt there. It's pretty snug right there. It's probably a little too snug. There we go, we got that. Now we're gonna install our data cables. And female data cable goes on the right. The male data cable on the left. And we're gonna, once the data cables are installed, reapply your clip, just push it in, it'll snap in place. And we are going to, once you got this to the desired tightness, we'll reinstall our clips for 
just to make your those head bolts not as visible. And we have it all together. Now, for functionality, you want to make sure your, your tightness is correct. Here we discussed, you can adjust that. Here, we have it snug coming from, as you can see here. However, you do want this a little snug because when you're really pedaling hard, this thing can have a tendency to move on you. So, it's up to you on preference on tightness. Real easy to adjust. All you do is take your wrenches provided, use the open end down here in your hex wrench and adjust accordingly. Now this is a tight lock nut, so it's gonna feel really tight, but just adjust it accordingly and it won't take much to adjust it, maybe a quarter turn and you can adjust that snugness. And it will have some wear in. There's a pivot here, there's a pivot point here. So it will wear in, so give it some time. However, if you wanna loosen it up, just loosen those two bolts. And uh, as far as maintenance throughout the uh, process, throughout using it, you may have to adjust this bolt, adjust these bolts from time to time. But for the most part, once you have them tight, you'll be set to go. And um, it'll just be personal preference on what, how you wanna adjust it. Any questions, feel free to contact uh, Russ or my, myself, and uh, we'll be happy to help you. Um, yeah, don't touch your face.